Hello and welcome. If you are new here, my name is Rachel. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. Let's talk about the new makeup releases, things that have been sneak peeked and or launched this past week. I'm gonna give you my thoughts. I wanna hear your thoughts. I'm gonna leave everything I can down below in the description box, including pricing information, launch date information, the Instagram accounts I pull from. Everything I have on my face today, by the way, will be in a pinned comment. I did not film this look. I really am short on time today. So it's a lot quicker for me to just put makeup on in front of my mirror by myself. But this is the Fantasy Cosmetica Warlock palette. Can you see this multi-chrome on my lid? I know you can. It's beautiful. I don't have a whole ton of stuff to talk about this week. I'll be honest with you. I feel like two weeks ago we had a surge of amazing releases. And this time there are some good ones, but all right, let me just get to it. If you see some movement <laughs> with these blinds, my cat likes to go under the blinds and look out the sliding glass door. It's not a ghost, even though the day that I'm filming this is Friday the 13th. <laughs> All right, let's talk about something that was finally revealed today, the day that I'm filming this, which is Friday the 13th, but is launching on Tuesday, October 17th, and that is the new Nomad collection. So I did receive this in PR. I already posted a video on my channel using all the products, showing all the products. Well, I didn't use one of the products, but I used the other products. I think this is a really cool idea, a really cool drop. So this is their Nomad Air collection, a collection of beauty care essentials. Dreamed up in the air on many flights, our multi-purpose products are designed to counter the effects of frequent travel and are also perfect for every day. So there are a handful of things in the collection. There is the Weightless Hydration Face Cream for $49, the Multi-Purpose Lip Salve for $12, Refreshing Face Mist for $22, Travel Eyeshadow Palette for $22, and the Air Travel Tote, free with the collection purchase, $20 value. So I guess you can only get the bag with the full collection. I love the bag. I think that's like one of my favorite things about the collection. I think it is so adorable. I actually have it here, let me show it to you. So this is the bag, it is so cute. And the zipper pulls have planes, very good detail. And then when you open it up, I don't think I have everything in here, no. I don't have the eyeshadow palette, but the eyeshadow palette usually goes right here. It's like a mini palette. And then you have the three other like skincare items and you get a vintage, airline ticket, which I think is so fun that has like the description of the products and everything that's in the collection. I love Nomad. You know that if you've been here before, they are one of my favorite indie brands. They just do an amazing job with their whole theming. They are a destination-based indie brand. So they base their collections on just destinations around the world. So this is kind of a cool, mini drop or not like a mini drop, but it's it's definitely different than what they usually do. They usually release an eyeshadow palette, like a, a large eyeshadow palette. I love the mini eyeshadow palette. I wore it obviously when I filmed that a couple days ago, loved it. It's just a six pan neutral eyeshadow palette, but I think it is gorgeous. I'm a neutral girl. Not that you can tell by today's <laughs> eye look and actually had a comment of someone saying like, oh, you say you're a neutral girl, but you wear a lot of color. Yeah, I mean, I do because I do like playing with color and I have a YouTube channel. So I wanna showcase the indie palettes that have color in them. And I, I do love playing with color, but I also love neutrals. Like if I was not filming and just wanting to pick up a palette just to wear for my everyday, like I'm more likely to grab a neutral palette, if that makes sense. So anyway, all that to say, you'll have to check out my video if you wanna hear my thoughts on the products. The launch date is Tuesday, October 17th. They have not said what time the launch is. If I know that before, I post this video, I will put it in the description box. But something else very exciting is Nomad has given me a discount code. It is just Rachel. It's not affiliated, so I don't get a kickback, but you get 10% off if you want to use my code. So I appreciate it if you do use the code. Thank you so much. And even if you don't use my code, you should definitely use a code to get some money off. It says all items excluding the travel tote are also sold separately and it's not limited edition. So if you don't feel like you wanna purchase it right away, you will have an opportunity to purchase it later on down the road. Fun fact about me, I hate flying. I do it because I like to travel, but I hate flying. All right, something else major that is launching the day that I'm filming this, which is yesterday for you, is the Glam Light Friday the 13th collection. We have talked about this in the past. And Glam Light posted something on their Instagram asking, should we launch Friday the 13th and a Nightmare on Elm Street collection on the same day? The downside to that would be that there may be crashes on the website because of all the activity, or should we launch them a week apart? And they obviously came to the conclusion that they should launch them a week apart. So they just launched Friday the 13th 
on Friday the 13th and next Friday they will be launching Nightmare on Elm Street. So in this Friday the 13th collection, we have a lot of things. Camp Crystal Lake palette for $34. Jason Lives Highlighter for $14. No Place to Hide Lip Kit for $15. Jason Voorhees Brush Kit for $18. Camp Counselor Lashes for $10. Camp Blood Candle Cherry Wood Scent $12. Jason Mask Mirror $24. Okay, I'm a little conflicted on this because when I first saw the picture of the palette, I was like, I honestly, every Everybody's like saying how much they love it and that's great. I love it for everybody that loves it. I don't really love this color story. Like it looks very mid-tone to dark, very cool toned, not a lot of variety, just kind of boring looking to me personally. But when I saw Glam Light show their reel where they had it in video form with different lighting, I think it looks much more vibrant. So. I still don't love the color story. It's not like my favorite color story ever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to think on it. I'm not gonna purchase it today, the day of launch. I am going to wait until next Friday when they launch the Nightmare on Elm Street. And I wanna see what that palette looks like. And I'll have a chance to think about it for a week because like I said last week, I rushed to purchase the Ghost Face collection thinking I was not gonna be able to check out because in the past with Glamlight, I've had a problem with that, things selling out super quickly. They didn't launch the highlighter on time. I missed out on the highlighter. I panicked and after all that, everything was still in stock a week or two later. <laughs> so they've obviously stocked this really well. I'm gonna give myself a week to think on it. Uh, the eyeshadow palette. I think the candle is super cute. I think it's a great idea. I'm not a really huge fan of the movie. Like I like it. It's not one of my favorite movies. Scream is way more one of my favorite movies. So the IP is, I like it and it's fun, but it's not like something I need. So the highlighter is pretty. I'm not interested in the lip kit. I'm not interested in the mirror. The lashes are cute with the red. Those are cute and the brush set I'm not interested in. So I may throw in one or two of the products depending on what the Nightmare on Elm Street collection looks like. And that way I can get free shipping, all of that. I wanna hear your thoughts on it. Like what are your thoughts on all of this? I actually would have preferred if they had launched everything at once or at least shown everything at once so I could now make that decision. Like should I just wait to bundle things together? You know what I mean? I wanna hear your thoughts. I will link this collection down below. I don't have a code or anything, but I will provide a link if you wanna shop. Something else that launched that is so exciting is Ali Glines is launching her own brand called Ravi Beauty. I will link Ali's video down below where she talked about her reveal of her brand, the name behind it, all of that. It was a really wonderful video to watch. I'm so incredibly happy for her. I did receive these products in PR. So there are three lip products called the Effortless Lips that are like a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip balm. They're so comfortable. The packaging is super beautiful. And she DM'd me and asked me if she could send them to me in PR and I almost fell off my chair. I was so excited. I have talked to Allie in the past and I did in the past win a contest on her channel. I would say this was probably two and a half years ago. She wanted to pick five content creators that are smaller creators to highlight on her channel. She got a lot of submissions and I was one of the five. At the time, I was very small channel. I think I had less than 2000 subscribers and it was just like that wonderful confidence boost that I needed to like keep going. Because when you first start YouTube, it is very hard to keep going, knowing that like nobody's watching your videos. <laughs> you know, you really have to want to do it. Even at this point, I'm not that big, obviously not that big of a creator. I'm a micro, micro creator, but it is wonderful to be able to interact with people in the comments where back then I didn't have that really. Um, if you've been around that long, thank you so much. I did also have a comment from somebody saying they found me through Allie during that time, which I thought was fun. But all that to say, she holds a special place in my heart. I really love her. I think she's so wonderful, so kind, and I'm so happy that she is releasing this collection and this brand. It has already launched. I will link it down below. They are $22 each. There are three shades, and there is a floral denim bag, which is like, kind of a little makeup bag for 28. You can buy all three lip products for 60. You can buy the three lip products and the bag for 80. I will link it down below like I've already said. And if you wanna check out my video where I used them, I will link that down below as well. Are you guys a fan of Allie Glines as well or a subscriber of hers? Let me know. All right, so House Labs is coming out with a new collection. I feel like they haven't really come out with much lately. I mean, I guess their concealer was the last thing they launched a month or two ago. So this is their holiday collection. 
the limited edition eye library palettes 49 each 49 well that's expensive for six pan the one on the right top right with the warm tones looks really pretty that looks really pretty the other one also looks pretty it's a little more cool tone leaning so they're called the super neutrals volume one and volume two and then we have the limited edition atomic shake lip lacquer duo for 39 this is one of those ones that looks really shiny but dries down I have the Urban Decay one. Um, it feels incredibly weird on the lips, but it does look beautiful, I will say that. I don't know about this one. You'll have to let me know if you've tried House Labs version. And then we have the Mini Hybrid Lip Oil Trio. So they're mini lip oils. These are gonna be available on October 20th. I've heard good things about their lip oil. Again, if you've used it, let me know. I don't have an incredibly like strong desire to try House Labs. I don't know. It's just not something that I'm like dying to try. I think if they do release something that catches my eye, I'd be willing to, but nothing in this launch is really, really calling to me. But of course, let me know your experience with the brand. If you've used the brand, what are your favorite products? I know their foundation is really well loved, um, but I have very, very oily acne prone skin. And I, I feel like I remember people saying it was more like hydrating, dewy. No, it's not what I want. It's not what I need but let me know your thoughts. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about is from an indie brand called Martine Cosmetics. I have talked about them here on my channel. I've personally never used their products before, but a lot of my friends here on YouTube have used them before. I've heard mixed reviews. I know my friend Heather Austin loves Martine Cosmetics and has reviewed them on her channel quite a lot. This is the May Day collection, and this is like, you know, a bootleg Jaws collection. I love sharks. They are my favorite animals. I love them, especially hammerhead sharks. There's an eyeshadow palette that leans very blue gray, you know, pretty expected for a shark themed palette. A face palette of three highlighters, three moisturizing lip oils, which if I'm not mistaken is a new product for the brand. There's a liquid eyeliner and three coal eyeliners. I'm pretty sure it is currently available. If it is, I will link it down below. You know, this is one of those ones I can appreciate from afar and all of that. It's not one that I really need to try, but of course I would love to know your thoughts on it as well. I do like the theme. I think it's fun. I like sharks. I like jaws, but I'm gonna pass on this one. Something that I did buy though, Cosmic Brushes launched their new palette. And we had talked a few weeks back about the sneak peek that they showed of the cover, the Gothic palette. They finally showed the inside and it's already been launched. It looks really beautiful. It's definitely not at all what I expected it to look like. I thought there was gonna be much more like blacks, grays, you know, typically like a Gothic theme would come to my mind, but I'm actually happy that it's not because I feel like a lot of palettes that have been released have been that kind of gray, black type of, color story. So apparently this is inspired by like gothic tales, vampires, stuff like that. And it does look beautiful. We've got some cool tone purples. We've got some warm tone purples. I really love the Cosmic Brushes formula. I think it's incredible. The palette retails for 22 pounds, which I think is about $30 ish, maybe a little less. One duochrome, one multi-chrome, five metallics, seven mattes, and one matte with sparkle. So it's about even. Usually their palettes are much more matte heavy, but most of the time their palettes are a lot larger. I'm so excited to have this like smaller Cosmic Brushes palette. The packaging looks beautiful. It's what my like spooky dreams are made of. And I wonder if it sold out because they typically sell out very fast. 2,000 years later. According to their website at the moment of filming, it is available and it retails for 28 US dollars. So I will link it down below, but as soon as I get this in my hands, I will make some sort of content with it. It's coming from the UK, so usually it takes a little while to get to me, but I'm very excited about it. Another indie brand that actually disappeared for a while and came back is Didi's Signature and I, Actually, I've never tried the brand, but I remember watching a lot of creators talk about the brand, feature them on their channels, and now they're releasing a new palette. And this looks honestly so beautiful. This is the classic autumn eyeshadow palette. It looks stunning. We've got a whole top row of like very autumn fall colors of mattes. And then we have a whole row of absolutely beautiful shimmers. Apparently they're all duochromes. The launch is gonna be on October 19th. This looks beautiful. I wanna know your thoughts on the brand. Like, have you tried them in the past when they were in business before, before they took their hiatus? Because this looks very attractive to me. I'm not going to lie, it looks beautiful. And if I remember correctly, 
I think that their palettes are pretty affordable, especially for having these special shades in them. I, I'm interested, like I'm keeping my ears and eyes open because it does look absolutely beautiful. All right, something that I wanted to talk about is Unearthly Cosmetics has opened up another pre-order for their Fall Magic and Sorceress Smoke palettes. These are their fall launches. They look incredible, incredible. These, I feel like, I don't wanna to speak too soon, but I feel like they're gonna be some of my favorite palettes from the brand. Like just the color story of both of these are like calling to my soul. They are like neutral palettes with a twist, which you know, if you've been here before, you know those are my favorite types of palettes. The original Fall Magic palette is one of my favorite palettes in my entire collection. And she is capturing some of the same tones in this new version, but adding so much more. And then the Sorcerer's Smoke looks so gorgeous. This one is a little more neutral in my opinion, but it goes from light to deep. We've got grungier tones. I'm so excited. I am receiving them in PR, which I'm so thankful for. And you bet when I get them, I will be doing looks with them, but I will link this down below and you can use my code Rachel if you wanna save 10% off. It is affiliated, so I do earn a small commission if you do use my code, so thank you so much. Um, but definitely want to get a uh, code involved here because they're $65 each, that's not cheap. That's not cheap. Uh, oh, actually, Sorcerer Smoke is 65, Fall Magic is 72. I'm guessing they have special shades, all right? But these look so gorgeous and I cannot wait to receive them. Let me know your thoughts on these. So there's a new indie brand that released an eyeshadow palette and I have seen a couple of people that I know here in the space receiving this palette, using this palette. This is called De, De Varun Cosmetics. Did I say that right? Probably not. This looks like a really pretty palette. It looks, in my opinion, kind of like springy because you've got some bright pops of color, but this is their fall release. The palette is called The Moth and the Moon and it is available now. Five multichromes, one shimmer. CO mattes, I don't know what that means. Anyway, $68. And Millie, who is bad to the brow here on YouTube, she actually created the logo for the brand, which I think is so cool. I will link this palette down below. Let me know your thoughts. Like, have you also seen this palette popping up around here and there? I'm, I'm interested. I'm keeping my eyes open and seeing what the brand has. I do love the packaging. I like the logo. Good job, Millie. I like the inside packaging with the spider webs drawn in the corners. That is really fun. So for right now, I'm gonna skip on it, but I'm definitely interested to see what this brand is gonna come up with. I'm sorry, I had to talk about this because it's a little nostalgic for me. Laura Geller Beauty, which, where the heck have they been? They are collaborating with Wheel of Fortune. All I remember is when I was a child, my grandmother watching Wheel of Fortune every day. And of course she was, well, not of course, I'll just tell you, she was very elderly when I was a little child. So she had to turn the volume up so loud. <laughs> so I remember being downstairs and hearing her TV blasting Wheel of Fortune. That's just like what I think of when I think of Wheel of Fortune. I also like the show. This is an interesting collaboration, okay? But we have Vanna White, doing what she does, showing off the collection. It is limited edition. The eyeshadow palette is $45. It looks very neutral, not surprising. Face the Wheel blush palette for $49. Um, okay, kind of gimmicky. Kajal long wear eyeliner for $22. Looks like it's just brown. Uh, lipstick for 21, which looks red. Primer for 36 and a brush for $21. Or you can get the whole bundle for 140 available now. I didn't see this coming, but you know, we're at this point now with collabs that like nothing surprises me, right? Like nothing's, nothing's that strange. I actually feel like they should have really collabed with Vanna White. To me, that makes more sense because she is, obviously wears makeup on camera. She is like the face of the show apart from, you know, the host. But like, I feel like it would make more sense to make it a Vanna White collaboration versus Wheel of Fortune. Anyway, just wanted to bring this up. And if you are interested, I will link it down below, but I'm, I'm not interested. I just thought it was funny. Apparently ColourPop is re-releasing the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer collection in Target. Somebody saw it and took a picture in store. I personally did not pick up anything from the collection last, it was last year or the year before. I wanna say it was the year before, right? But the palette looks pretty. It's neutral with a pop of red and two pops of green. We've got a highlighter, lip kits, a lot of stuff. It has been spotted at local Target store along with other new holiday bundles and items. Stay tuned for more details. Have you seen this at your Target? 
I live in a pretty rural area. My Target is very small. It doesn't get a lot of new stuff. So I would be very surprised to see this at my Target, but let me know if you have seen it. I would love to know. Elf is releasing lip oils. We are on a lip oil kick here for the past year, right? Every brand has released lip oils and I, I enjoy them. I am wearing one on my lips today from Fantasy Cosmetica. I like lip oils. I think they're super comfortable. They are the new gloss, right? And they are releasing seven shades for $8 each, which I think is a good price. They're available now. Okay, so I will link them down below. I think if I was in store and I saw them and I was already making a purchase, I may pick one up. But honestly, I got all the ones from Fantasy Cosmetica. I've accumulated a lot of lip products lately that I absolutely do not do not need anymore. And in fact, I'm I'm kind of looking forward to my end of year declutters because I have so much stuff. I've already talked about this before, like I can't fit anything else in my drawers. Like it's overflowing and the lip drawer is one of those drawers. So stay tuned for that. That should be coming in the next couple months, but probably gonna, I, I just talked myself out of it. Okay, I just talked myself out of this. But let me know if you're gonna pick it up. The last thing I wanna talk about is Spectrum Brushes is collaborating with Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas has collaborated with a lot of brands this year. Am I right? Like Melt, Spectrum Brushes. There was a, a nail polish brand that they collabed with. I guess that's it. But I guess in the past they've done a collection with ColourPop. I might be missing something anyway. It's my favorite Disney movie, so I can appreciate it. I'm not gonna pick anything up though. There is a 10 piece brush set for 59.99 pounds, four piece brush set for 24.99 pounds, a makeup bag that glows in the dark, very cute, 19.99 pounds, brush cleaning soap, 19.99 pounds, a sponge puff trio, and the full collection bundle for 109 pounds. I think this is done really well. And generally speaking, Spectrum Brushes seems to be a little bit higher end of a brand and they do a really good job. I think like aesthetically, the brushes look really cute. The packaging and everything looks really cute. The sponge, I would not wanna use. Like I would not want to use it cause it's too cute. <laughs> But I think it's fun. I think the makeup bag is cool, it being glow in the dark, but I'm gonna pass on this, nothing that I really need. I'm passing on a lot this week. I'm proud of myself. Have you ever bought from Spectrum Brushes before? I would love to know if like the quality matches up with the price point, let me know. All right, and that is it for this new makeup releases video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me your comment down below letting me know your thoughts on any of the products I talked about today or anything I didn't mention today because I don't talk about every new makeup release that comes out. I kind of curate it down to the things that I actually have an opinion on or things that I think are noteworthy. But of course, if there's something I left out that you are interested in, I would love to know down in the comments because I love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.